go. Oh, there's Iridia. Look at the little Iridia up at the top right hand corner. And the bob bombs come and blow everything up. Those aren't bob bombs. What am I talking about? Uh, so, uh, <laughs> that was her mom. And this is where Kane turns into a little piece of shit again. Earthquake! This is where she unleashes her power. I don't want to fight her. Yeah, that's right, Titan calls an earthquake. I think you have to fight the officer first, otherwise he calls more soldiers, I think. Not 100% sure, but I think that's what happens. Maybe I was wrong, maybe I was supposed to fight the soldiers first? Ooh. Oh no, I didn't mean to kill that guy! Oh, never mind. I gotta move her to the back row. Forgot that. It's terrible. God damn it, I forgot she only has 30 hit points. Oh my goodness. I gotta go back to the town and wake her back up. Did she not learn any? She didn't learn any spells yet. God damn it! Choke on that bitch. Whack! She should level up here. Oh, that's right. This, she just goes ballistic learning spells. I think the rod is stronger. I'm gonna have to switch over to the rod. No! Yeah, that's right. That's what it was. <laughs> I never understood how that worked. She's got a rod. What is in the rod that makes her shoot shit out? Like, this game is all about power leveling. If you don't power level at least a little bit, you're, you're just gonna get screwed. Which doesn't make the most interesting thing to watch on, uh, on Twitch. <laughs> but it's gotta be done. What do I like so much about this game? It's kind of hard to explain, but like the the story behind it, when you finish it, you have like a connection to the characters, or at least I did. I mean, that's how that's how I feel when I play the game is I have a connection to the characters. I know that sounds strange, but like the character development for a game of this type, the character development was so well done that it um it's just really good.